Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule, stop in and see what it is I'm up to. Uh, at the moment, I'm going to show off this bag that I got from China the other day. As I was, I was kind of afraid that the strap wasn't going to be long enough. So I ended up adding a second strap to the strap that came with it. Um, extended all the way out. It didn't ride where I wanted it to. With these two straps pulled all the way in, they it rides nicely right there on my hip. So that's the first thing to start with. Let's get over here and I'll show you some more of what what I got going down, going on. Ugh. The bag holds a lot more than I was anticipating. Here's the two straps themselves. And then I just, these are a couple of belt pads for we're in a car, you know, you wrap them around your seatbelt. One is a little loose, and these were actually for a, these came out of the brat buggy. They used, they were for uh, one of the, one of the kids, but. They're not going to be used for the kids anymore. <laughs> so. The two of them together pad that nicely because this is actually rather it holds a lot it's got a lot of weight in it this pocket is left empty because that phone fits in here so there's nothing in there at the moment in this pouch or in this this pocket I just have a couple of wipes handy wipes I have a whole box in the truck, um, but you know, if I'm going to be carrying this as a, you know, in store and, and everywhere, uh, you never know when you're going to need to wash your hands, just because things get things get nasty. Uh, so that's that. On the back, there's all this extra webbing and whatnot. This pouch will actually fit on there with these two. You run the strap, run these straps through this strap, and this would actually ride right there. But I don't have anything in this right now except for a tent spike. Uh, across the back here are my pens and pencils, a few markers just for. Well, you know, I go out and sketch and doodle and whatever. And that can be a little hard. It can be a little difficult to put the snap back on again. I ain't gonna worry about it at the moment. So that's that. I have a flashlight. And on this side is a flip knife. Nothing spectacular. It's called the Force. It's got some odds and ends to it. Um, I bought this at a truck stop. I think that's supposed to be a glass breaker. It also works as a small screwdriver. It has a, you know, if, you, if the blade is open, that'll act as a bottle opener. Although, most people I know know how to open a bottle without needing anything like this. It just clips on there. Inside the main compartment, 
Now, again, this is not a survival kit. This is not a get home kit. This is just an everyday what might what I might need through the day. Here is a sweat rag. It also where it's clean, although it doesn't look like it. So it could also be used as an improvised bandage if you know stop bleeding or whatever. If you don't have anything else handy. Um, I put my mini slingshot in there. I was actually talking about this. Uh, uh, Donzi was talking about a slingshot the other day to another channel. Um, Mr. Bill out of McCook, Nebraska. Uh, but anyway, I was talking to him about this. Uh, or, you know, I carry slingshots. This one, this one is just, it's for having fun. That's it. I, I, when I'm walking along the, the beach or along the river, I'll shoot stones out into the, out into the water. Um, it's accurate enough that with a with a uh, marble it will take it will take some small game this is my uh, screwdriver set I will leave a the link down in the description here's a little ammo for or for the slingshot oh as I was cleaning up my table I found another one so that goes in there like that we have uh, a lighter now I had this had duct tape on it it had uh, thread on it and electrical tape and I was actually carrying this in my pocket and I noticed that the electrical tape slides off and more than half of it was hanging off the end of the lighter so that doesn't work I took the tape off and put it on a bottle of sanitizer just for now uh, this is this fits on here with these rubber bands because it was the right place to put it in this sheath is my Letterman Sport, I think it's called. I picked this up real cheap at a pawn shop. Didn't have a sheath, but I got a sheath. So, between these two things, I'm, per, I'm you know, most, most little repairs I'm, I'm good with. There is a small sketch pad, notebook, whatever. A small pack of cordage and folding reading glasses. There's also a small knife in with my reading glasses. Just because they, it fits in there. I'm not sure how much paracord this is. There's several feet of it. Cordage is always something you never know what you're going to need. It could be it could be a band, a, a uh, constricting band, or you know if you need to lash some something to something. You never know. Cordage always comes in handy. That's a mess of stuff that I'm putting into another bag. Uh, figure stuff out here, or there, and as we go. Like I said, this is not a survival bag per se. It's not, you know, um, yeah. There's a little bit of fire in there. It, it's a, it's a, it's a purse. It's, it's a man purse. It's some things that I'm going to that I usually end up needing as I'm as I'm out. So uh, it will probably change as we go, and you know, in six months I'll do a review in it and show what's actually in there. A lot of this stuff, I'm glad it's out of my pocket. I no longer have to carry it in my pocket. Some of it, um, you know, it's from it's from other kits. I didn't I didn't carry all these pens, but I do carry a flashlight and a knife. I'm still going to carry the flashlight and the knife 
on my suspenders and in my pocket. But now I've got a redundant set. <laughs> anyway, um, that's what's going to be in my on my hip. Uh, what what does Scott call it? Sporan? Sporan? So I tis me sporan. <laughs> Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is y'all happen to leave comments on your internet access device of choice. If you'd like to share me around on your social media, that'd be fandoculus. Uh, we're up to, I'm up to like 381 subscribers today. Uh, today is November 19th, 2017. And I'm old. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a shout out. Happy birthday to Sammy Prepper Bushcraft is Nuts out in South Australia. Um, gossip? 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 Anyway, <laughs> she's about two hours outside of Adelaide, South Australia. Check her out. She's trying to get to a thousand subs or fifteen hundred subs or I don't know. She's got a lot. She does a lot. She's crazy. She's fun. I love her to death. Um, and for every shout out I give, I get another point towards the giveaway that she's going to do. And I have no idea what she's going to give for a giveaway. So here's another shout out, Sammy. Where was I? Uh, if you want to send me snail mail, the address is in the description box, wherever it happens to be. Uh, my my Facebook link is down there. Um, if your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you're thinking about them. Let them know you love them. Forgive them for anything that you're arguing about because you may not get another chance. On that note, I hope you all have a fandoculous day. Until I see you all again, slotchy, y'all. Bye-bye.